Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In this episode, we were called to a local business that had found one of their storage sheds had a very active yellow jacket nest in it. They were entering from the back of the shed, as you see here, and when we arrived on the first day to inspect the site, we went inside the shed, and sure enough, there was a very large German yellow jacket nest down on the floor. It was a very busy nest, all wrapped around several pieces of corrugated plastic tubing, and they were coming in through the back seam on the wall, where the wall meets the floor, and they were getting aggressive already. We decided to start collecting from the outside. The business was located right up against the railroad tracks, and because of that, there's not a lot of room back there behind that warehouse. And as you see here, the tracks are only a few yards away, so anybody who walked back there really had no way to get around this shed safely if there was a large swarm near it. So we went back the following day, we hooked up two vacuums at once, and we just started collecting bottle after bottle of German Yellow Jackets. It was a very large population. This is always great for venom immunotherapy collection, which is where all of our Yellow Jackets end up. And despite the dual vacuums and all the chaos of collection, they were still trying to expand the nest. As you see here, they're trying to build more paper on the outside opening of the back of the shed. They were not deterred at all, so we just had to keep collecting them bottle after bottle. Eventually we had enough collected that it was safe to begin the removal from the inside of the shed. So as you see here, we loaded in gear, one vacuum, also a light, and some tools, and a bin. Then we closed ourselves in with the yellow jackets, using a bungee cord to keep the door closed, just allowing the electrical line and the vac line to come through, and we got to work. So we first started collecting any of the wasps that were moving around the outside of the nest. They were on both sides of the nest, both sides of this corrugated tubing that they had built right over so all of their wasp paper had kind of glued itself onto these plastic tubes so we had to cut the tubes out of the nest and then remove the rest of the nest piece by piece. You can see here how they built their comb right up into the grooves inside the corrugated plastic so the nest ended up having a very unique shape that was sort of a mold of these corrugated plastic tubes. The nest was covered in a large amount of envelope paper that the wasps create. We vacuumed up many adult wasps as we went along and then we pulled the brood comb out and then we secure it in a transport bin and that's what we'll take back to the vespiary where we can incubate it for venom immunotherapy. It ended up being a multi-layer nest and we ended up with two bins full of material, one full of envelope paper, the other filled mostly with brood comb. Then we took the brood comb back to our incubation box that you see here. To view the entire job in a long form episode, click on the link in the description.